I actually have all three types of overflows running on tanks right now, so I thought it'd be a good thing to just show a video of all three. First, we're going to start with the most complicated, which is a hang on back overflow box. So you can see on here on the 75, you've got chamber in the back, chamber in the front, and the U tube that siphons from the front to the back. So as the pump in the sump pushes extra water into the display, it overflows into this front box. As that water level goes up, it siphons over to the back. In the back, there's a little tiny wall right in the middle there that keeps water around the U-tube all the time so it holds its siphon. Water flows over that little wall and goes down the drain. Now you see the drain has a little extra pipe in it and that's just to help a little bit of air in in the right spot to help keep it quieter. This is not the quietest method usually. Um, the biggest issue with the overflow boxes is that if the siphon in this breaks, you don't have an overflow anymore and you've got a flooding tank. Um, it's usually not a problem with most of the designs. They maintain that siphon, so unless the power goes out for days or something, you're gonna be fine. But it's not the simplest um, design for most people to wrap their heads around, so I wanted to point that out. Now that drain just goes right into the sump just like all of them. Next, we're gonna have a drilled tank, and this is what is on my saltwater system, which I did myself. And we'll just take a look at this one here. So all you do is you drill a hole in the tank, put the bulkhead in, and it sits at that water level. Now, if you want to, you can add an elbow, and that can help you adjust the water level as you need to, and you just adjust that elbow. Um, this one has a screen on it, um, just to keep fish from going down that drain but it's pretty straightforward. The water goes in, goes up, goes into the overflow, and joins the rest down into the sump. Now the last type is uh, reef ready, which means that there's a built-in overflow, the tank is pre-drilled, and it usually comes with a kit, um, which is all that plumbing inside that is what you need. Now this part keeps it nice and quiet. You've got that U there, and there's a little tiny air vent in the top to let air in, just like on the overflow box. And then in the return line, you've got that coming up that's plumbed in line too. These are a little bit more expensive to buy, but you don't have to drill it yourself, which means you don't take on that risk. You pay a little bit more for the tank, but it's already drilled and you know you're not gonna crack the tank while you drill it. I did all those on the saltwater system without cracking a single one. The only cracks that came were when I was assembling it and accidentally put a little too much force on a bulkhead the wrong way. So you see we've got all three types of overflows here, pros and cons for each of them, um, complicated setup for the overflow box, um, cheaper but you got to drill it yourself for the ones that you drill, and then a little bit more expensive from the get-go but um, a simpler setup it's pretty straightforward to get these guys going. Now the only bad thing about overflows like this are A, they take up space in the tank, and B, if a fish ever gets in that overflow, you're kind of screwed trying to get it out because there's so little space for you to get a net in there, and they move two inches and they're on the other side of the pipe. I've dealt with that too many times and it drives me crazy. Um, honestly, I probably wouldn't have gotten this tank with overflows except it's cheaper to get them with it because that's how they manufacture it these deep dimension tanks you actually have to get them special ordered and it costs more to get them without the overflows um, so that's why that one is the way that it is so i hope this helps clear things up for a lot of people on the three different types of overflows that are available um, for when you need to do it again overflow box Drilled with a bulkhead and pre drilled with a built in overflow.